Now, Game of Rage has always been existing since the dawn of man, but what never gets old about it is that when it's followed up with a salty runback, it just makes it all the better. And a salty runback is normally called after someone loses in a very disrespectful manner. For example, if they get 6 old by a Magikarp in Pokemon, you're going to call a salty runback. Well, buckle your seatbelts because I'm going to present to you the saltiest runback in anime history, also known as the Pharaoh vs. Seto Kaiba in Dark Side of Dimensions. Now, the thing that makes this very salty is that it's entirely on Kaiba's end. The lens that Kaiba went through in Dark Side of Dimensions just to duel against the Pharaoh again are admirable. Now, the entirety of the movie Dark Side of Dimensions, Kaiba was just absolutely salty, okay? He wanted to get the run back on the Pharaoh after the Pharaoh whooped him in the main series. And even when Yugi tried to explain to him that, yo, the Pharaoh's not gonna come back, Kaiba did not listen for a second. He knew that immediately if he got the Millennium Puzzle, he was going to get it back, okay? He was going to bring the Pharaoh back by force if he had to, dragging, kicking, and screaming like a kid in the Walmart parking lot. Now, the first thing that makes this a very salty run back for Kaiba is that he went through an entire training arc inside a dual simulator he made. He made an entire simulator dedicated to him being able to beat the Pharaoh in multiple simulations. Kaiba was trying to get that zero to death combo that we all tried to get with Bayonetta when she came out in Smash 5. You see, I work at a gym, and whenever I see people training in some weird manner or training aggressively, I'm thinking to myself just, who are your ops? Because they're not going to win. And Kaiba is training to the point where the Pharaoh, I don't think he can win, but this is the Pharaoh we're talking about here, so you already know how the ending is going to be. Number two, he dedicated an entire excavation team just to bring back the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> He didn't care about any of the other Millennium items that were in that hole. He only cared about getting the Millennium Puzzle, putting it back together just so we can duel the Pharaoh again. He is digging up his op's grave just so he can body them again. Or rather, get bodied again in Kaiba's case. But you know what? I'm always on Kaiba's side, okay? I'm always on Kaiba's side. And after he dug up a Tim's grave, he got all the pieces from the Millennium Puzzle and then realized he was missing two pieces. By the way, the only reason he knew he was missing two pieces is because he made an entire program dedicated to solving the Millennium Puzzle once he got the pieces. This, you know what? That, actually, that part actually doesn't surprise me because this is Kaiba we're talking about here. This is the same Kaiba that when he found out that Akemi, or rather Diva, had a piece of an onion puzzle, he sent in the entire SWAT team on him. He was the dedicated, bro. This man had them by the goons. He had goons that were actually like targeted up. They were suited up. I sent in both the goons and the goblins at the same time after him. Kaiba was not messing around once you found out you were stopping him from seeing his op. He was relentless in this one, and I love it. See, this is a good example of how to use your goons. Fast forward into Kaiba versus Yugi, and Kaiba straight up just hands Yugi the entire Millennium Puzzle and says, nah, put the last piece in, summon the Pharaoh. You're not the one I want. I want I want to see the Pharaoh right now. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of waiting. I'm trying to body him. And even after, even after Yugi tried to explain to him that the Pharaoh wasn't coming out, Kaiba didn't believe it. He said, no, 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 he just bitch me. He ain't coming out. He's scared. That's all. He's scared about me. He's scared. He know I'm a win. That's why. He know I'm a win. That is example of what we call delusion. You see, when you're in the midst of the salty run back and someone is denying you the salty run back for any kind of way, you become delusional. No matter what excuse they have, if it's not exactly what you want, you will just say, nah, it's because they're scared. That is the, that is the reason every time if something doesn't go your way when you want the salty run back your immediate response is oh it's because you scared but out of everything else nothing is going to be more kaiba than kaiba okay the saltiest of all the saltiest characters in all anime history went back in time traveled dimensions gave the company to his little brother mokuba just so he could go back and travel just so he can duel the pharaoh one more time if that's not dedication to the salty run back i don't i don't care what it is okay if you're not gonna go through these lens for the salty run back i don't even want it this man kaiba created a time machine okay he pulled a back to the future he pulled a bill and ted he pulled a time squad he went back in time just so he can body the pharaoh and i just <laughs> that is dedication if you're gonna go through all that trouble just to lose i'm going to laugh in your face but if they ever make another Yu-Gi-Oh movie which i really doubt 
and it has a feature of this match actually transpiring, I really do want Kaiba to win. I want that to be like the main focus of the movie that Kaiba finally beat the Pharaoh or something like that. And he proved that he was the greatest. That would be amazing. And you know what else would be amazing? You hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. So with that, thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace, love to your country. Remember the Titans. And I'll see y'all for the next one, man. Let me, got, let me know down below what you guys think right there about Kaiba and everything that he went through. So with that, y'all take care. Peace.